<laughs> that seems really quiet now, though. Resident Evil. I'm going to turn that up a little bit. The American Midwestern town, Raccoon City, has been completely decimated due to the T virus outbreak that was instigated by the international corporation Umbrella. Claire Redfield, who arrived in Raccoon City to search for her lost brother Chris and a rookie police officer. That's probably Street, good, right? Volume wise. Escape from the city. But their ordeal was only a prelude of things to come. That's better. Cool. Three months later. Your identification number is WKD4496. <sighs> Welcome to your new home. <laughs> Her name is Claire Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris lab facility 10 days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous STARS teams. And as Homer so eloquently puts every time, Claire Ridfield cl casually kills 50 dudes. <laughs> Easy. The day Claire Redfield killed 50 people was the most important day of your tenure of Raccoon, of um, Umbrella. For her, it was Tuesday. Yeah, okay. I'm actually um, happy we went with this version. You can, like, it's dark, but you can actually see what's going on. Yeah, and this menu is pretty nice looking, too. Much better quality. Go on. 
Get out of here. This place is finished. I don't know, it might have been a special forces team. But in any case, this prison's been taken over. The troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. But you may as well know, you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't worry about me. All right, then. Peace. Oh, right. This game has the god tier knife. I forgot about that. I do have to change one thing here. So, first of all... Type B. Uh, that's still not great, but it's better, I think. Nope, that still sucks. Hold up. Can't change. Okay, I think C. I want. Uh. Oh God, no. Okay, C is not what I want. <laughs> this is not at all what I want. Yeah, I guess it's A. I'll just have to get used to it. It's fine. It's fine. Oh my god, that's right. This game has these really fucking annoying heartbeat loading screen things that slow everything down even more than normal. Mister, you're on fire. That's where they buried the 50 people she killed. Hi, Ben. She had sh shot Steve. Uh, sorry about that little misunderstanding, but I thought you were another one of those mon- Shut up! Make one wrong move and I'll shoot! Oh, 
Relax, beautiful. I said I was sorry. My name's Steve. I was a prisoner on this island. And I'm guessing you're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire? Hmm. Nice. I'll remember that. He's such a scumbag. Hey, I heard there's an airport around here. And once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. Well, I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! I don't want you following me, lady. You'll only slow me down. Make some Nemi tea here. What is that voice, though? Oh, don't... <laughs> Ace, if you haven't seen this game before, don't worry, It's you're gonna learn to really fucking despise Steve by the end of it. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. It gets so much worse. <laughs> it gets so much worse. Or better, depending what you're going for. Um... He can't be as bad as Steve from accounting? I don't know, man. That's not my aim? Oh, that is. He dead? Yeah, he's dead. Okay. I'm gonna do this part first. This game could use fewer zombies. Dude, there are so many zombies in this game. It's actually insane how many enemies there are in this game. Fucking crazy how many zombies there are in this game. Prisoner's Diary. This room stinks of death. Based upon the information I found, I believe that I'm far south of the equator. What prisoner uses the word upon? Luckily for me, that Bob in the bunk below me is one of those interesting type of guys. Today, Bob told some crazy story why he was put in this place. Bob said he used to be an intendant of the head of this place. This boss named Alfred supposedly placed him in here because of a tiny little mistake. What does that mean? What's going to happen to me? Without warning, a group of military men took Bob to the building behind the guillotine stand. At midnight, I'll sneak out here to see him. Out of here to see him. I've been hearing anyone taken to that building never comes back. On top of that, there are these really large plastic bags constantly being removed from the place. I better pray for Bob. I was wrong. I shouldn't have gone there. What is going on in there? All I could hear was some insanely creepy laughter and the sound of Bob screaming. I don't know what to do. I can't stop thinking about it. Is that going to happen to me? I can't let it. I just can't. Since my last entry, all my fellow inmates have been taken to that building. I know I'm next. It's obvious we were here to be used as Alfred's guinea pigs. There's no way out. What am I going to do? <laughs> they didn't want to admit they used typo. They typoed. All 
Um, I don't remember if there's like a reason to worry about the rest of the zombies in here. Okay, we definitely want that. Got the prison map. The one didn't finish their soup. All right. Well, there's healing up here. How can you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? That's strong. Oh, God damn it. Deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Whoops. Note here. Can I not take it? What the fuck? Be sure to verify content. Blah, blah, blah. I hereby apply for access permission. Pr uh, prison area D. Details follow. Yeah, this just tells you about the metallic substance Chris thing. Redfield. What are you doing here? Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah. Your siblings. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know. What was that all about? <laughs> oh, right. We got to do this.
Believe me, I know. Oh, you know what I need? I need the stupid thing here, too. So... Is it not here? No, no. No, we don't want to save right now. It's right here, okay. Um, so one of the things you're gonna notice if you haven't seen this game before is how much, how much, the, like how anime they went with a lot of stuff. Uh, Steve is a pretty, Pretty good example right off the bat. So this is essentially a 3D printer. Um. Please deposit any <coughs> metallic items you have in the security box. We're not really doing anything with that yet. One thing we are going to do, though, is, oh, well, I shouldn't have bothered with this because I can't use it until. One thing, what do I have on me that's metallic? Did I not put that away? Ink ribbons. Apparently ink ribbons are metallic. Uh, we are going to set the alarm off, though, from this side. <clears throat> because, as you saw, it puts those shutters down, and that'll stop those zombies from breaking in when we have to come back later, like, much later on. Even if he is your brother. That zombie's an asshole. Zombies are assholes. 
Not wrong. Not wrong. Name one that isn't, I can't. Oh, yes I can. Bub from, uh... Day of the Dead. But he's basically still a person. Trapped in a zombie body. So I don't know that he necessarily counts. For some reason, the rain isn't putting that fire out, so we have to use a uh, fire extinguisher. Oh, we're full? Bummer. What about the dude from Warm Bodies? Uh, no, that guy's an asshole. Fuck that guy. I actually don't remember very much if he is. Was any kind of rapey? I don't remember. So this is a non-metallic alloy, and this is what we're going to copy using that 3D printer. Two type of zombies, zombies that were people and the zombies that were zombies. Checks out. That's just life, dude. that and put it away pretty soon here. In real life, we have people that are people and people that are assholes. Yeah, exactly. That's just life, dude. I'm just resetting that room. Because I needed to turn right there, but I forgot. I'm a little bit worried now, though. About how to get through here. Um... I can't... My controller do the thing again?
Christ. Just restarting it, hold on. Oh no, the game's completely locked up, I think. Uh, what? Open the freaking door! Okay. I wasn't gonna risk the same problem. Is there ammo in this? It might be from the other side. Yeah, it's from the other side. It opened! But anyways, yeah, there's enough that Resident Evil games that are different enough that you could probably find one to your liking, honestly. They all, all are like horror-y though. Well, that's not true. Resident Evil 6 is not very horror-y, I would say. I don't think that's exactly a uh, controversial statement. Also, 5 pretty much isn't either. Yeah, they very definitely could be annoying. This is one of the best, um, this game has one of the best save room music, though. Four years have passed since I began serving Sir Alfred. He doesn't trust anyone. Even though I'm his attendant, I'm still strictly prohibited from entering his private house. What's his problem, anyway? They say he lives with his twin sister, Alexia, Alexia in his private house on the hill. Occasionally, I've seen someone standing in the window of the house. It might have been Alexia, but whose extreme beauty is often talked about. I once asked Sir Alfred about this, but I only enraged him. Even though I am his attendant, he will not show me any lenience. If I ask about her again, I could put my life at risk. After all, it is a mystery why he so desperately tries to keep his private life with Alexia a secret. Robert Dorson. Grab this. Grab this. So, this is one of my least beloved Resident Evils, therefore I know the least about it, therefore we're going to be probably saving the most in this one.
This track is really good, yeah. This is an extraordinarily good... Uh... Save room track. NTC0394. Remember that, chat. NTC0394. We need that number for the uh, computer in the main hall. That's one of those numbers that if you've played this game a bunch, you just know. But I haven't, so I don't. So I have to look it up every time. Zero three nine four. That's all you use that card for. You know what? That zombie is way too fucking close. Also, I think there's an aluminum case or whatever here. Uh, this has bats. Bats won't attack you. Well, they won't bite you if you uh, have the lighter equipped. Pieces of shit. Christ Almighty. I've never been a big fan of the zo sometimes um, zombies can speed up in these games. are faster than others. True. Very true.
So we need those. We don't get those yet. I do remember the puzzle coming up because it's stupid easy. This game loves backtracking. The whole intro area is you going to a spot only to go almost all the way back to the beginning, only to go all the way back to the start. Wrong room. This part is you going literally all the way back to where you just were to save Steve. There's a lot of backtracking in this game. E, e, huh. Huh. That was too close. But I found something. That's why Thanks we couldn't take you. the Lugers, by the way. Looks cool, huh? Because you get locked oh, in there. I need those. Give them to me. You gotta be kidding. I found it and I'm keeping it. Fine. Let's make a deal. I'll trade you for something fully automatic. See you around, Claire. Adios. Hey, wait, Steve! So, the reason why Steve sucks, and besides, like, the fact that he's just kind of designed like an idiot, his voice kind of sucks, and his writing sucks, is that he's actually detrimental to you every bit of the way. Redfield! How dare you interfere with my operation? What are you talking about? You let yourself be captured so you could lead your people to this base. I have no idea what you're babbling about. You don't fool me! I am Alfred Ashford, commander of this base. Oh? You must be one of Umbrella's lower-level officers if you're in command of a backwater base like this one. How dare you! The Ashford family is among the world's first and finest. My grandfather is one of the original founders of Umbrella Inc. Now tell me, why have you attacked this installation? Attacked? Shortly after you arrived, my base was attacked. You must have informed your people of its location. I still don't follow you. I really don't know anything about that. Unacceptable! How can you deny it? My base has been destroyed. And thanks to you, the experimental T-Virus was released, creating countless zombies and monsters. Tell me, who do you work for? Who sent you? <laughs> Have it your way, then. You're just a rat in a cage anyway. I'll be sure to keep you entertained before I dispose of you. <laughs> True. So that's Alfred. He's going to be our main weirdo villain for this evening. Oh, I don't have the, uh, knife on me anymore. 
Oh, I don't need that yet. That's just a proof, right? Fuck it. Let's just pick it up. Who cares? <clears throat> Why are we on this island again? Because we got arrested or something? Honestly, who needs reasons, you know? All oh, right, we get the lockpick eventually. It's less than a gram, we're good. We're on the side pack. That's that puzzle, quote unquote puzzle. What's over here? Oh, this is nothing, right? Yeah. It's at the very end. We got to move the bridge. Oh, this part's kind of fucked up, I think. I think we need this equipped. Cause it didn't show it, but there's apparently a shitload of zombies on this ele elevator thing. What the fuck, dude?
We came all the way here for that, by the way. <clears throat> now we get to go all the way back. So what's new with everybody who's around? How was your guys' weekend? You know what? I'm gonna grab this and heal. You wish your leg didn't hurt? Have you tried not letting it hurt? Did you work today? Like, is that why they hurt? Just hurt when you woke up. Yeah, that fucking sucks. That's no good. Fun fact, if you skip that cutscene, Claire is in front of the door because you didn't see her move. Otherwise, she's in that position. What if bionic legs? Your weekend was boring as fuck. No PC games. <laughs> Do you have a console that you were able to play or? No. Yeah, that's true. You can focus on some other stuff. Thank you. 
pretty sure we're about to fight a Bandersnatch. DC Master Race. Trying to push to be top 1200 by the end of month. Any particular reason or just for like yourself or what? Like are they are they doing something? Oh, you qualify for a special do tournament. Not disappoint me by dying too soon. I so want to enjoy this. <laughs> Banner snatch time. Here, where does it attack? Oh, it attacks here, I think, right? What's that dolphin like laugh? <laughs> I can't do it. Knight in shining armor is here. You wish, but thanks for the help. See? He definitely played too many need. first person shooters. I got your back. Whatever. Here, take these. Machine guns? For me? You know the deal in exchange for your Lugers. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is too cool. Yes! Now this is my kind of weapon. All right! Huh? <laughs> hey, this thing's empty. You cheated me. Up there, plenty of ammo, just for you. Way up there? Give me a boost and I'll get it for you. All right, all right. Ow! My back! You're heavier than you look. Hurry up! You're heavier than you look. Happy now? Yeah, Claire. Lose some weight. Jeez. What? Now that your knight has made his appearance, he can join you in your descent into death. Oh, 
Okay, let's do it. Wait here, Claire. Time to test out my new toy. <laughs> and now we play as Steve. Point in being back here. With some ammo and shit. I don't remember if these guys respawn for Claire, but we might as well uh, clear the way for her completely. Oh my god, we're coming up to one of the best parts. And by best parts, I mean worst Steve parts. We're coming up any there anyway. It was dirty work, but this area is now clean. See? You can depend on me. You see? This thing is a lot more reliable than any person. Than people? <laughs> Not this part, by the way. This one's pretty good too, Steve, though. Steve. What were you doing here? Who brought you here and where is your family? Shut up! I don't want to talk about it! Steve. Never mind. Let's get going. Got to 727. Congrats, dude. Did daddy never come back from the store? Ace. Yo, we're going to meet up with his father. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Will my card work on this? I'm gonna take that as a no. Yeah, it's a different card. This is the best part. Well, yeah. Best part. Claire, are you okay? Steve, behind you! <sighs> no. What's wrong, Steve? Shoot him! Wait! I... I can't! No! Steve! No!
Holy shit. <laughs> Steve. Father. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Dad I used to work for Umbrella I Tried to steal information Intending to sell it off to the highest bidder He was caught Mom was killed and We were sent here Dude, this game is so anime inspired oh, Steve And how they do shit, it's hilarious He was a fool to do something so reckless so stupid. It's okay now. Just rest. So anyway. I can't remember if there's more stuff. All right, let's go. Need some sort of special key. Steve and his father, top anime betrayals of all time. I supposed to come back here already? Don't actually remember. Oh god. He's an asshole and wanted to eat us. I mean, of course he wanted to eat us. Have you seen Claire? She a snack. He's no Jill. Still. Who is, you know? T 
She's a snack because she's so heavy. Yeah, exactly. She's a snack because she's bad for you. This is like the one puzzle that makes sense. Puzzle. It's not exactly a puzzle, but it's like... The one thing that makes sense, of course there would be a shutoff valve for the thing in the same room right beside it. <laughs> you know? Like, yes, finally. This zombie's in a shitty area? I needed to, like, shamble down the stairs here. want to see if there was something else in there. There is not. She's so do 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 heavy. Good old bow gun powder. Taking one of the worst weapons and making it one of the best. I should go get the grenade launcher. I kind of am too, Ace. But I mean, what the? What can you do? You, what I'm? Godzilla can't kill a ghost. Okay. This not this card? Oh no, it's not that card. My bad. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Yeah, I don't know, like, anything about the Powerpuff Girls. Honestly, the only Hanna-Barbera, like, I watched at all was basically Jetsons and Flintstones. Never watched any Powerpuff Girls, because why would I? Anything of worth in here? Okay, nope. Reason why we do everything we do, Ace. Where the fuck do you use the. Oh. I don't remember where the fuck you use the Lugers. I think it might be the other house. Must be the other place. <clears throat> oh, right. We gotta take the hemostatic medicine to save Rodrigo, too. Does this one do... Yeah, the stack. Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck? Right, the map is set to this button. Okay. 
God damn it. Oh, it's this room. Okay, hold on. Yeah, okay. Now we go where I was. Because this doesn't work, right? Oh, it does. At least it isn't My Little Pony. Could always be worse. You know nothing about that show? It's really not the show I have a problem with. It's the 30-year-old plus men that decided that that show is for them. That's generally the, pe the people I have a problem with. Yes, it's true. I also do not have a problem with Lauren Faust either. Right, it could always be worse. You are very true. Now we can get the grenade launcher. Yeah, it does seem like the zombies stay dead down here. He's married to the creator of Samurai Jack. Oh, really? Powerpuff Girls is Craig McCracken.
Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Well, yeah, fuck that room. I don't think I even need to be there yet, so. Absolutely fuck that room. I gotta get rid of these fucking Lugers. I mean, it's okay to like any show you want. But, uh... But, um... There was something... I... So, I was okay with bronies... At first. And I became less okay with them. This will lead to the elevator. Yeah, okay. Like most fandoms, yeah. Like most fandoms, some are f totally fine, whatever. While others, uh, are annoying dickwads. So it goes. One, one, two, six. one up here too. Even Universe Fandom has a whole bunch of fucking shitlords in it too. That's correct. The albinoid description, a creature which is created by injecting the T-virus into the genes of a salamander. Characteristics. Similar to normal amphibian, the, al the albinoid, albinoid, albinoids, Body will change as it grows with age. When young, an albinoid is small in size, but given, but it can grow to over seven feet in a very short time frame, ten plus hours. They possess high mobility, are able to discharge electricity. These characteristics are most notable when they are underwater in their adult form. Yeah, sure hope we don't find one underwater in its adult form. Fuck, right, I'm full. Zombies being a real piece of crap. Again, people can be into whatever they want, dude. They can be into anything they want. It's totally fine. When you take it too far and you're kind of a creep about it, that's when, uh, that's when there's a problem. I mean, whatever. It's the whole reason why anime fans in general have kind of a bad rap, right? Um... I don't think we're going there yet. 
Maybe we're all just zombies. I mean, that's the most likely op option for sure. Anime fandoms are a whole nother beast. Yeah, and it's kind of shitty to just say like anime fans in general. Cause like, there's different anime. <laughs> Guns akimbo plus survival horror is kind of weird. You think so? <laughs> My God, what was the fucking code again? One one two six, right? Nice. Kind of like the term film buffs assumes all films are equivalent. For what it's worth, I kind of hate people that are like, that would call themselves film buffs as well. It's not that I hate people being into stuff, it's that they go too far and they're fucking annoying about it. That's really it. I mean, hell, I almost didn't play Undertale at all because people wouldn't shut the fuck up about it. It's like one of my favorite games after playing it. Level three, emergency shutters will close. All personnel evacuate immediately. I thought this was a save room, but it has this. So at least there's that. That was anticlimactic? Yeah. Yes. Yes, it was. Thanks, George Orwell.
Need that lock pick, man. Score all movies with 3.5 out of 5, regardless of how you actually feel about them. I'm really glad that I think for the most part, people have st stopped going along with this hoity toity bullshit when reviewing anything, games, movies, or whatever. Of, uh, oh, I have to kind of be like objective about it. Literally, not what we want you to do with movies. Because there's no objective truth. That seems like an early 90s thing. Objective reviews. Snatch coming up. First digit left, right. What? First digit left, right. Second digit left. Third digit right. Right, right, right. Okay. Okay. That's where we put the number in. Uh, yeah, I don't have any fucking idea. Left, right, left, right. Right, right, right. One left nine right one nine seven right right one nine seven one Thank you. 
God damn it. That scared the shit out of me. I think there's another Bandersnatch in here somewhere. these guys I think one of these guys follows you I believe yeah oh they both could oh god get in <laughs> Ooh, ha ha easy yeah there are there are bats in here. Yeah, okay. I do remember this. Well, I don't remember this. I remember that there's bats. Gretch Armstrong zombies. Later, Homer. Keep focused, brother. Our enemy is only a little girl. Oh, why is this taking so long? My apologies, Alexia, but I have been doing my best. The revival of the Ashford family depends on your success, brother. I am aware of that, Alexia. I will revive the family name myself and make you the master of the glorious Ashford family. Do not worry, brother. I will handle them both myself. Who is there? Is someone at the corridor? So what is it, Alexia? N nothing. I believe I must have been imagining things. Let us go, brother. Let us go, brother. The slow opening of stuff because of the heartbeat, I fucking hate it. Stop that. Right, I can't go up there until I put the stupid ant things in there. Okay. Okay, we got some handgun bullets. Oh.
Message card. My dear brother, I fir firmly believe that the glory of the Ashford family will be revived through your courage and strength as an honored soldier. Yours faithfully, Alexia Ashford. I think that's it for now. Because we need those ants that go in those, uh, in the music boxes. Pretty sure that's it for now. I think there might be no banner snatch. Okay. Okie dokie. back up to full health. Okay, we're gonna do a save here too. just zombies in here I believe right yeah I can hear them can't see where that zombie is fucking Christ okay I think if I go down there I'm just gonna be walking directly so this is still an older resident evil in which you have to push a button to like use essentially on the stairs to go down them you can't just like walk halfway or anything so i was pretty sure if i went down those stairs i was committing myself to getting bit which i don't want to do I don't remember what the fuck goes on in Right, okay, I do remember this room. I can't do anything in here yet, but... We'll make some more of that. Gotta commit to the jump, that's right. Okay. So, it's good to know I, we have healing in here. Okay. Always bet on black, true. That will never steer you wrong.
You're in the way, sir. guy that almost bit me before. This might be a bandersnatch room. One of these rooms has a bandersnatch like instantly as soon as you open it. this one. Oh Christ, okay. This is a puzzle room. Okay, congratulations on your succession as master of the Ashford family. I present you with the earthenware vase according to the Ashford family tradition. As you know, this tradition began when a butler presented a golden teacup as a commemorative to Veronica. So that's why... So, later on, the code that we need to put in for something is Veronica. That's why it's Veronica, because it's uh, a family member. Okay. Um, Veronica's... F wait, butler presented a golden teacup as a commemorative to Veronica. So Veronica's first... As founder of the Ashford family, her intelligence and beauty are legendary. The second and third masters, Stanley and his son Thomas, were presented with similar teacups. It was in their hope to achieve glory as Veronica did before them. Okay, I, I mean, I, I don't know. Second and third, Stanley and, and his son Thomas. Okay. Position of family master then shifted from Thomas to his twin brother. Okay, twins. Sir Arthur. It then went to Sir Edward, your grandfather. And that's when the Ashford family enjoyed its golden age. There's also Edward's achievement that established the large chemical enterprise, Umbrella Inc. Okay, hold on. Edward... established umbrella when sir edward passed away your father sir alexander succeeded the position the family gradually began to sink i sincerely hope the ashford family regains its glory with your guidance just as this vase continues to shine eternally okay that memo is important because we have to do these stupid paintings in order so veronica i think is the only woman so Veronica's first. Okay. Now the next one were the twins. What does he have with him? Red hair. Earthenware plate. Okay. What's your thing? portrait don't holding a tea set okay I think it's the twins Okay, Veronica presented with similar teacups. Okay, second and third masters. So those are the twins. Stanley and his son Thomas. The position shifted from Thomas to his twin brother, Arthur. So those two were done. And then it went to Sir Edward, your grandfather. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Okay, hold on. 
second and third, Stanley and his son Thomas. And Thomas had a twin. So Arthur is the next one. And Arthur also had the teacup. Because they were presented with their own teacups. Okay. Okay, hold on. Arthur, his twin brother, then went to Sir Edward, your grandfather. So, probably the older looking man? That's when the Ashford family enjoyed its golden age. Sir Edward. And Sir Edward established Umbrella. And then Alexander was a piece of shit. Okay. What does this have? This has a plate. How the fuck am I supposed to know which one of these? Pure white candlestick. Is there any more fucking info in this file? Okay, hold on. Earthenware vase, according to Ashford tradition. Wait, okay, so if the vase was passed down and that one guy has a vase, so that must be the one right before right before um for Alfred, I think. Hmm. Teacups. Your grandfather. Golden Age. Golden Age and Umbrella. Do any of these say, like, Golden Age, or... I'm looking it up. I don't want to spend all fucking night doing this. Well, what happens if I just pick one? Like, let's pick this guy. Nothing. So I won't even know if it's wrong. How do I reset this now? Do I just have to like leave? Fuck this, I'm looking it up. Okay. Only woman present. The guy holding two babies. Red haired dude with tea set. 
That's this guy, right? Yeah. So I was right here. And then then I have no fucking idea. The other red-haired dude, the one with the devious visage. The other redhead. What makes this the umbrella guy? I don't understand. I don't get why. Okay, whatever. Man reading book. This guy. Whoops. This guy, then Alfred. God, I'm so glad I just looked that up. I have no fucking idea why that was the way it was. Oh, but look at that. The true heir. It's Alexia. Oh, shit. This the room? Yep. <laughs> Fucking asshole enemy placement. Monk's report. Attention. So, this is from dude from uh, the fifth survivor. What the fuck was it again? The fifth survivor, right? From uh, Resident Evil 2. Mr. Alfred Ashford, head of facility. Today at 1632, I arrived successfully from the Umbrella Transport Base with large-scale BOW capsule. Extreme care was taken during transport. All 108 checkpoints were confirmed condition green in accordance with standard procedures. It's currently being stored in a freezer. One thing I don't understand, we're normally assigned to special missions. Why were we ordered to transport a frozen capsule this time? I understand this may be classified as top secret, but without knowledge of the contents, our safety could be at risk during the transport. This is especially important if the contents are potentially harmful. <coughs> Excuse me. We'd like to ask you to provide us with more information should we be assigned to similar missions in the future. I still remember the good old days I spent here in the military training center. Nothing has changed since then. We'll gear up for the next mission today at 2300. Umbrella Special Forces Unit Hunk. Now we're going back to the prison. I'm gonna grab the hemostatic medicine because I actually can't remember. If there's even like a chest in that area that I can grab it from. So, we might as well do that.
I'm gonna take care of these banner snatches on the way. Like I want to take these and combine them. Maybe I'll leave one for later. Actually, we'll leave one. Why not? Also, I'm getting a little anxious about. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be called in to work tomorrow or not. I'm hoping I'm not. Because I'm not prepared to work tomorrow. Oh wow, the game actually is just froze. So I was gonna say we should call it soon. I guess we're calling it there for now. The next day. Let me finish this godforsaken game already. Okay, switch this. This. You forgot about that song? It's a good song, man. God, fucking just die, you fucking piece of shit. Oh, God. That's all I wanted. Hey, dipshit here isn't in front of the door. We met the evil woman? I mean, you could say that. You could say that. Interesting. Last time, I had to look up the solution to this puzzle because I couldn't for the life of me tell me what, how to figure some of the clues out. Frankly, I still don't know, but I remember the solution to the puzzle, so who cares? Let's just do the solution and keep on trucking. Oh boy, so what's up with you guys? How's everything been? Man, I can't believe out of all the times to find a fucking job, it's when monster the new Monster Hunter comes out. The greatest tragedy. Best Levi.
de la vie. Oh, 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 oh mon chéri. At least it wasn't during back-to-back -back releases of games while also having TDP Plus. I mean, I'm going to have TDP Plus though, right? All right. I need everybody to pray. This is where it keeps freezing. You don't speak Polish? Are you sure? Come on, come on, come on. I think in this area is legitimately la the last session where it stopped working. So until we're past the whole prison part, essentially. Pray to which god, whichever one you pray to. I am currently not picky. How's your job going? Take my money. The good luck. Hey, thanks. I will do so. I appreciate it. Medicine. How kind of you. Thanks. You got today off? Nice. Glad to hear it. Here, let me help you with that. Thanks, but I can take care of myself. Just go. Keep it. It was a gift from my brother, but... Thanks. Here, let me give you this in return. You might need it later on. Now go. Don't worry about me. So that's both good and shitty. We have the lockpick, which is very good. But we lost, uh... This an item? No. We lost the, uh, only thing that keeps the bats away. Your leg is better? Well, that's good. So I saw for the last two hours of my shift today after I was done all my training stuff what my job is going to be and man it is way more difficult than my old job. It's similar in a lot of ways but it is way busier like crazy busy so that's kind of exciting. Pass the time away. Because I'll tell you, nothing sucked more than having a 10 to 12 hour shift 
and you only had like two hours worth of work in it. I do have to hang the one problem with this new job is I do have to hang around the type of person I hate the most in this world truck drivers so that sucks Anatomist, no. There's a demon in my mind. I can't control the fierce impulses. That demon sometimes drives me to act upon its brutal ceremony. With the demon next to me, I enjoy watching people agonize in pain, screaming, convulsing repeatedly as they die. But Sir Alfred was kind enough to acknowledge me and has given me the facilities, chemicals, and equipment necessary to study everything. I must never betray Sir Alfred's kindness. It is especially critical that no one discovers a sacred place that only he and I know about. I swear, the basement of this medical building will be kept secret. Of course I keep the key to the sacred place with me at all times. Even if an outsider sees it, they'll never be able to tell it is the key. I must remember that my life ends... That my life ends when I lose Sir Alfred's trust. That reminds me. We need a better weapon. Hi. What's up? <laughs> What's up? You have a good talk. I'm just gonna mute for a second. Deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Thank <laughs> you. 
Why the fuck wouldn't it target on him? God damn it. Alright, I'm back. The fuck was that horse shit? Fucking game. Absolute piece of shit game. Ugh. I'm gonna get bit by bats here. And yes, it's true. Game hasn't broke yet. I should have done this before giving the hemostatic medicine to Rodrigo. Then I wouldn't have had to worry about this bullshit. I know that dead stare.
That was bullshit, dude. Just uh, talking to Aaron about because she was the one that answered the door about what the fuck the neighbors wanted. Apparently, they wanted to set up a device and use our Wi Fi for mining cryptocurrency or something. Again, I don't trust it. Following the theme of this game, we came all the way out here to do that, and now we're going all the way back. Well, that's fun. Sorry, yeah, Necro. Well, we have it working for now. Pray for me. I almost don't want to stop and get these. Run back is definitely much easier with those banner snatches dead. Greetings. You must uh, be the lovely go. Claire Redfield. Who are you? Let's just say that I'm a ghost coming back to haunt your dear brother. Whisker? It seems there's not much explaining to do, is there? I was the one who attacked this island. Who'd have thought you'd be hanging about? <laughs> All the better for me. Now that the cat dragged in this nice surprise, your ever so caring brother will definitely show up. I must thank you for being such good bait. 
I don't know what went on between you two, but you have them all wrong. My brother is not the kind of person you think he is. I despise Chris. Uh, what are you gonna do to him? <laughs> oh, how your brother will wish it to see you die. <laughs> what? What is it? Stay there. I'm coming. It appears you may be of some further use to me. I'm going to let you live a little longer. So stupid. <sighs> Your eyes glitched. Open the freaking door, man. Okie dokie. I do like that song that they use a lot in this game. I think one of the annoying things about this game is that there's so much, like, really good shit in it. Okay, I can breathe a little now. Because now if we uh, crash again for whatever reason, all that shit is done. You ever wondered why they give you 200 ammo for this thing? Now you know why. Because it kind of fucking sucks.
that zombie is real fucking close. I'm stuck in here. Fucking Christ, what a piece of shit game this is. Holy fuck. Can we go back to playing Resident Evil Zero? I think I'm gonna be changing my uh, my tier list. Takes a thousand bullets to kill one man, some world war one reporter. Out the fucking blue ant. need the music thing from the other one. Wait. Hold on. Ugh. I forgot. I forgot you need to look in there. changed it. Because you're right, somebody's gonna get their panties in a knot. Boy, this is the weirdest Monster Hunter I've ever seen. Yes, thank you for the reminder. Should get that bot running too. I'll do that right now. While this cutscene plays out. Oh my god. Okay. I can't I apparently I can't play this until the bot's done. Since it's absolutely fucking destroying my CPU for some reason. There we go. Imagine sleeping on that and getting crushed. Yeah, pretty much, right?
think this is the same thing. Yeah. And now that we detach this, we just use it here. My CPU was destroyed a few days ago. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. That sucks. No good. Confession letter. Alexia, my sister, is a genius and possesses unmatched beauty. She's everything to me. I would overcome any obstacle and be willing to risk my life for her. For Alexia, I must revive the glorious Ashford family, which fell during the era of my father, Alexander. Together, we will restore our family name. Once that's been achieved, I'll build a palace where only nobles may gather. I cannot allow the unwashed to see my dear Alexia, who, to whom my life is devoted to. She reigns the world as queen, with I as her servant. That is my dream and how sweet it will be. Those accomplishments will be the proof of my love towards Alexia. It is the purpose of my existence. All other people are meaningless and they shall soon prostrate themselves before Alexia and I, devoted to my beloved Alexia. Oh, you get to go pick it up tomorrow? Well, that's good news. Glad to hear it. other at last. A pity I must say goodbye so soon. I am Alexia Ashford. For the pride of the Ashford family, I will kill you. Wait! What's going on? Ah! Steve! A secret door! After her! Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. This must be... <laughs> what? No! Wait a second. What just happened? So there never was an Alexia after all. You mean, he thinks he's two people? Okay, that's it. Let's get out of here. The self-destruct system has that been That freak! Activated. He's trying to blow us up along all with the entire facility. Come on, we gotta get to that airport. Right. All right. So yes, that is the big secret. Alexia doesn't exist currently. She did exist, she's real, or was real. She currently is not real.
and Alfred do be weird in love with her. Almost done disc one. And then the nightmare that is disc two can start. You think I'm bad at this game with disc one. You have not seen me with disc two. Uh, we should save. Get out of here, too. Right. Let's go. The self destruct system has been activated. All personnel evacuate immediately. We got to get to that airport. The self destruct system has been activated. All personnel. Yeah, that sounds pretty good, huh? Homer, what's your least favorite Resident Evil? I don't know why I stopped moving there, but okay. I mean, I know that it was my fault I stopped moving, but I don't know. Like, not enough pressure on the D-pad or something, I guess? Unless we raise the bridge! 
Leave that to me. You stay here and make the preparations for takeoff. So you really hate Steve. Mm -mm. I just feel like I don't like how this one controls. You know? I think that's my problem with it. You also hate Steve? Probably grab that handgun at me. something all personnel the self destruct system has been activated all personnel evacuate the self destruct system has Resident Evil 2 on the game com is probably the worst. Yeah. Assume that's the key for here. Kinda hard to remember Umbrella Corps even a thing. Honestly. If game.com was once a website. Uh it might be on the like internet wayback machine.
am I going back? Five minutes until detonation. again. Mr. Clean has joined the fight. This is the best Resident Evil, clearly. Clearly true.
I'm sorry. I know I caused a lot of trouble for you. No, it's okay. It was hard for both of us. Probably zero, Homer. Well, I really hope you find your brother. I, I zero know has like cooler alone. locations and shit, though. Oh, Steve. <clears throat> so, where should we go now? I can take you anywhere you want to go, Claire. <laughs> I hear Hawaii is nice this time of year. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds frustrating, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey! What the? The cargo room hatch is open. I'll go back and check it out. Thanks. I've unlocked the cargo room door. Okay. I don't trust myself. I know we gotta save like right after this for the discs to swap, but better safe than sorry, right? Alright, disc one done. What was wrong? Oh, nothing. Just a giant cockroach that had to be stepped on. What's happening? I don't know. The plane just changed direction on its own. It's flying in autopilot mode. I can't switch over to manual control. My apologies, but I cannot let you escape now. Oh. Alfred. 
Red! Cross-dressing freak! That part didn't hold up well. Also, this part is really weird and terrible. So if you didn't hate Steve yet, Disc one done. <laughs> 